Ichariba chode. In the Okinawan tongue, this expression means once we meet, we're like family. JICA Okinawa International Center, or OIC for short, welcomes you with this warm Ichariba chode spirit. JICA, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, implements Japanese official development assistance to provide financial and technical support for developing countries. JICA actively operates in 150 countries and regions around the world, offering technical cooperation or loan and grant assistance programs. Along with overseas offices, JICA has domestic branch offices and international centers across Japan with various local resources to exercise unique cooperation projects and cultural exchange programs. JICA Okinawa is situated in the southernmost part of Japan and known as Okinawa International Center, or OIC for short. OIC was founded in April of 1985 as a symbolic base to send out a message of eternal global peace in Maeda, Urasoe City, which once was completely destroyed in the tragedy of World War II. Since its opening, OIC has provided international cooperation and exchange programs to government administrators and technicians, taking advantage of the unique characteristics and strength of Okinawa. We are now providing a training and dialogue program for participants from abroad, JICA Volunteer Recruit and Dispatch, Civil Citizen Participation Partnership Program, Public-Private Partnership Program, and many more. Now, let us take a look at OIC's functions and facilities. Under the JICA Training and Dialogue Program, JICA has been inviting government officials and institutional leaders in various fields from developing countries to provide them with technical knowledge and skills for assisting human resource development in developing countries. OIC offers about 50 training courses, accepting more than 500 participants from about 100 countries each year. OIC specializes in courses on tourism and environment, sanitation and medical care, and ICT, or Information Communication Technology. OIC offers these distinctive training courses with various local implementation partnerships with NGOs and the private and public sectors. So far, more than 10,000 participants from over 160 countries and regions have come to OIC for these courses. OIC courses include practice and study visits in and out of Okinawa and experience-based fieldwork along with regular classroom lectures. For any country, tourism attracts foreign revenue and promotes regional development. The benefits of tourism spill over to a wide range of industries. Tourism is a key industry for the economy of Okinawa. Okinawa's efforts to focus on environmental conservation and developing its tourism could provide hints and inspiration for trainees from developing countries. You clean up today and by two days later, <laughs> Well, yeah, uh, the tourism here is um, it's more adventure-based or experience-based for Eremoto itself. Um, and it's 
We are, although there are certain, I'm quite sure there are certain aspects of the tours that we can carry back, but in Jamaica we have a lot of um, adventure based tours already. Conservation and utilization of safe, clean water is the issue of top priority to most developing countries. Island nations and regions with poor water resources can benefit from Okinawa's highly relevant efforts and experience in conservation, management, and effective utilization of water resources. OIC offers various levels of IT training in information and communication technology which is a core technology for today's social infrastructure. OIC trainees create direct solutions to issues in developing countries by identifying issues and making action plans to resolve them. And I had to learn quickly to work, basically. We are here, project managers and the At the end of World War II, Okinawa suffered total devastation. During the post-war restoration period when there was a lack of materials and money, Okinawa made great efforts to maximize sanitation efficiency. In the medical and healthcare course at OIC, Trainees can learn the history of Okinawa's various approaches from the post-war era to today by examining the local practices of maternal health care programs. So all of this, we have other surveillance systems. I become too familiar with international health. There were people from eight countries with my in this course. So I become to know their country's public health problem. For example, HIV is very prevalent in Afri Africa, so I had a good experience of international health here as well. The third part of this training, I think, is very important, is that I become to know the culture of, uh, on one side of the eight countries, and the other side, the culture of the Okinawa and Tokyo as well. That was very fascinating for me. I am from one of the regions in Ghana, and my region is the second largest in Ghana, where we have most of the people there are rural. And you can see poverty runs through the rural areas. So is malnutrition. And poverty is a social determinant to malnutrition. So when you go to the rural Ghana, you see a lot of children that are malnourished. So for the sake of this course, and what I have learned here, I want to go back to Ghana and then build the capacity of health assistance, help community health workers and community-based volunteers. Yes, uh, especially we learn good practices of uh, Okinawa, especially in the area of infectious disease. Really, Japan have moved forward in terms of uh, infectious disease control. Like, uh, they were able to eradicate malaria in Okinawa. They have done uh, with the uh, tuberculosis. Uh, those are the problems which, in our country, are still a major challenge. Okinawa International Center stands on the hillside of Urasoe City, surrounded by flowers and trees. The entire building complex is designed in traditional Okinawan architectural style, with red roof tiles and shisa, Statues of these guardian lions are on both sides of the entrance to welcome you. The lobby of the administration and lecture building is quiet and spacious. You'll enjoy a beautiful Shisa mask created by a famous local artisan. The lounge on the second floor provides a space for relaxation and interaction for participants and OIC staff. There are many souvenirs and gifts from the participants and guests around the world in the glass display cases. This building mainly consists of a number of seminar rooms used for training courses. The orientation room is for ceremonies and official occasions. 
Next to the main building, you will find Nidai Hall, which houses Jaika Plaza, the reference library, and multi-purpose rooms. The word Nidai is an ancient local belief suggesting ocean utopia over yonder. In the library, we sometimes provide book reading sessions to local children and small seminars for trainees and local residents. This building consists of a dining hall and recreation facilities such as karaoke, billiards, and table tennis. The name of the dining hall is pronounced oishi, which means delicious in Japanese. They serve various local food, Japanese dishes, halal food, and even world commemoration cuisine renewed every 10 days. This dining hall is also open to the public, where you can enjoy original food selections you won't find anywhere else. In the accommodation building, there are more than 100 rooms, several of which are wheelchair accessible. There are laundry rooms and lounges on each floor, self-study PC rooms with internet access, and everything ensures the OIC participants' basic amenities. Sports facilities such as a tennis court, gym, and swimming pool are available for participants to refresh and enjoy themselves after training hours. As a part of its international cooperation program, JICA has sent many local volunteers to developing countries and helps them with their own skills and experience. OIC recruits JICA volunteers in the Okinawa Islands area and also offers an assistance program for returning volunteers. These volunteers from Okinawa are dispatched all around the world. They give a helping hand to the people and communities and address issues for a better tomorrow. やっぱり考え方が違う人間がいて常識も違う人間がいてそちらに自分のやりたいこと考えてることを伝えるというためのやり取りの中でやはりいろんなことを学びますのでそれがそのまま帰ってきて仕事にそのままそういろんな人たち
To foster new industries and business opportunities, OIC works collaboratively with private companies in Okinawa and assists their overseas operations through JICA programs. Collaboration with local communities is another important mission for JICA, encouraging young people and citizens to deepen their understanding of the current situation in developing countries and raise their awareness and interest to international cooperation. OIC offers a friendship seminar several times a year to promote international understanding among local residents. Participants introduce their countries and cultures with photos, song and dance, and traditional costumes. Each seminar features a different region or country, attracting a large audience every time. Our participants and returning volunteers visit local schools and community centers for the International Outreach Program and perform global exchange sessions and workshops. The city of Urasoe invites OIC participants for Urasi Aruki, a half-day exploring hiking trails around the city with local residents. Through this event, the local residents and OIC participants deepen their mutual understanding and create a close bond with the goal of building better communities. Chronologically, uh, Urasoe Kingdom was before. OIC hosts an international festival through introduction of the OIC partner groups, a cultural fashion show and dance performance, world food stalls, and products and other fun activities, visitors learn about international cooperation. In addition, OIC offers various other activities that can promote international understanding. Yes, we can. Um, the, the way, the, the politeness of the people, they're very polite, very welcoming, and um, I think we can adapt that to our culture. Although we have it in our culture, we want to adapt it more into our society. So. You know, it's, it's pretty much almost the same, but we really want to make it make, be more polite in terms of um, the people here in Okinawa. Yeah, we have learned a lot that I could try and implement within our tourism sector in my country, whereas you have a lot of the people where, um, who the communities are always pulling together. The community doesn't work by themselves. Everybody, everything is done together as a whole and not just as one. People from around the world come together here at the southernmost branch of JICA, OIC. They get to know each other, learn together, make friends, and return home with the skills and plans to build a better tomorrow worldwide. <laughs> Jaika Okinawa welcomes everyone with the spirit of Ichariba Chode.